Throughout human history, engineering has driven the advance of civilization. Electricity, food and water, automobiles and airplanes, radio and television, spacecraft and lasers, antibiotics, computers, and the internet. But what about the future? How can we make our world more sustainable, secure, healthy, and joyful? These are the NAE's grand challenges, announced for the first time in 2008. Challenges related to sustainability, make solar energy economical, develop carbon sequestration methods, manage the nitrogen cycle, provide access to clean water, provide energy from fusion, Challenges related to security, restore and improve urban infrastructure, prevent nuclear terror, secure cyberspace. Challenges related to health, engineer better medicines, advance health informatics, reverse engineer the brain. And challenges related to enriching life, enhance virtual reality, advance personalized learning, and engineer the tools of scientific discovery. In March 2009, Thomas Katsuleas, Richard Miller, and Yanis Yortsos stepped up to help create the new brand of engineers needed to resolve these challenges. First, by holding a Grand Challenges Summit in Durham, North Carolina. In my view, we're here to observe and celebrate the power of great ideas. Young people thinking about the relationship between science and medicine and mathematics and engineering and making the world a better place. And I certainly want to thank the three great men who really pulled this whole thing together, Tom Katsileas, uh, Janis Yurtsos, and Rick uh, Miller. The outcome of that meeting was the creation of the Grand Challenges Scholars Program, formally launched at the 2009 Annual Engineering Deans Meeting in Boston. The program accelerated in 2010, when the second Grand Challenges Summit was held at the University of Southern California. This is the most exciting era for engineering and science in human history. The relevance of engineering and science now often takes on an appeal to young people, and it's truly inspirational. But it's very gratifying for me to see this Grand Challenges Summit turn into what could only be categorized as a national movement. An outcome of the USC Summit was to expand the program globally. In 2013, the NAE partnered with the Royal Academy of Engineering and the Chinese Academy of Engineering to host a global summit every two years in London, Beijing, and Washington, D.C. A seminal moment came in 2014 when 122 engineering schools pledged to start a GCSP in their institution. In 2015, the GCSP leadership, by then enriched with Dean Jenna Carpenter, presented a commitment to President Obama to graduate 20,000 Grand Challenges scholars over the next decade. The creation in 2016 of a National Coordination Office at the NAE further strengthened the reach of the program. By 2022, the Grand Challenges Scholars Program had graduated 1,760 students with 97 participating schools, including 21 internationally. In 2020, the GCSP was instrumental in launching the COVID-19 Engineering Call to Action, which became an NAE initiative as multi-generational teams of students and engineers combined their resources to confront the pandemic putting the GCSP into action on a pressing problem. Such efforts to mobilize engineering students to address important grand challenge-like problems are likely to continue in the future. Having reached this key point in the history of the GCSP program, how is its future unfolding? By strengthening the five competencies and mindsets in research, by encouraging students to hug the exponential and engage with the ever-increasing power of technological discovery in interdisciplinarity, by advancing the engineering plus mindset, which empowers all other disciplines, in innovation and entrepreneurship, by helping instill a mindset of bringing breakthrough discoveries from the lab to the marketplace, in global understanding, by developing the mindset of awareness of human nature and cultures, and in service learning by instilling the mindset that deepens students' focus on the impact of engineering and technology on society. 
In this endeavor, the GCSP will keep creating a generation of Grand Challenges scholars with both outstanding competence and outstanding character, which together produce trust. With this new blueprint for engineering education, one that expands the engineer of 2020 to a new paradigm, the GCSP will continue to change the conversation about engineering, about who we are, what we do, and what we look like, and stay true to our mission to engineer a better world for all humanity.